Ratna, I'll go straight to Mr. Nitin Kare, the Chief Electoral Officer of Assam, joining me uh, from his office, an extremely busy person, uh, Mr. Nitin Kare. Uh, welcome to Northeast tonight, uh, Mr. Nitin Kare, the Chief Electoral Officer of Assam. Uh, extremely busy man. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Mr. Nitin Kare, can you hear me first of all? Yes, thank you. I can hear you. All right. Uh, welcome to Northeast tonight, Mr. Nitin Kare, the Chief Electoral Officer. Mr. Kare, you know, the campaigning for the first phase of polls have ended at 6 p.m. today. The Election Commission obviously is all set for polling on Saturday. What's the law and order situation on the ground? Is everything under control? We are fully prepared to conduct the first poll of elections in a free, fair, safe and peaceful manner. We have sufficient central armed police forces to uh, dominate the area. Wherever required, they have been put up in a static team at the required number of polling stations. And our police and magistracy have taken sufficient preventive measures. Large number of uh, antisocial elements uh, they have been bound down under different uh, provisions of law. The license arms have also been de got deposited. Around 5,402 uh, license arms have been deposited. In the last parliamentary election, some uh, arms were deposited. They were also there. 2,375 intimidators have been uh, bound down. Apart from that, uh, 43 illegal arms have been seized. 676 Numbers of illegal ammunition have been seized and we have till now been able to conduct the poll process in a peaceful manner and we are fully prepared to conduct the polling on 27th as well as in the latter stages in a peaceful, free and fair manner. We have sufficient number of forces and we are leaving no stone unturned to ensure that every voter can come to the polling station without any fear and he can cast his vote. So that I can assure on behalf of Election Commission of India to you. Right. Uh, Mr. Khare, you know, there is tremendous enthusiasm among the people, among the voters. What would you like to tell them? Anything specific that you'd like to tell the voters? I would like to tell all the voters that we have made all the arrangements like provision for assured minimum facilities at the polling stations. There are facilities for drinking water, toilets, ramps have been constructed, wheelchairs have been arranged for. So all facilities have been provided there in view of the COVID pandemic, all the necessary precautions like sanitization of polling booths, provision for hand wash, provision for soap, provision for hand sanitizer has been made. Every voter will be given a plastic gloss so that there is no contamination after he touches the machine. And we are also we are also going to provide for a face ma mask if that if some particular voter doesn't have a face cover or face mask. My appeal is uh, for all the voters to come out of their homes in large numbers and vote. And at the same time, they should also. Uh, follow the COVID protocol, they should come with a mask or a face cover when they start from their homes. But some of them, if they don't come with a face cover or mask at polling station, we will provide it to them. My appeal to the voters is to maintain COVID protocol at the polling stations, to maintain social distancing and to abide by the uh, uh, suggestions, instructions of the election commission and uh, to keep themselves safe, keep others safe. And I am sure that with these arrangements, we will have a safe poll from COVID point of view also. I am seeing that we will definitely have a good turnout. What about, what about interstate borders? Are you deploying additional security measures along the borders? There are a lot of interstate borders along, uh, you know, in the first phase. What about interstate borders, Mr. Kare? Special measures along the interstate borders? Uh, the police check nakas and other arrangements have been uh, put in place. So thorough checking is going on at every place. We have seen to it that the use, misuse of muscle power, money power, liquor power can't be allowed to influence the voters. 
<coughs> so after the declaration of election that is after 26th of april sorry 26th of february we have seized around 87 crores cash and liquor and other articles and contraband articles so there is no question of any such misuse of money liquor or muscle power to influence the voters and all the interstate check nakas have been put in place and there is no scope for any mischief played by anyone mr khadi uh, what is the is there any role of the army have you kept the army on standby do they have a role at all we have made sufficient security arrangements and i can assure you that we will be able to conduct the polls in a peaceful and smooth manner right finally my final question to you my last question to you uh, usually you know when we see there is a huge turnout on voting days in assam do you expect the same this time the turnout with all the arrangements in place with all the precautions which we have taken and the awareness generation which we have done amongst the voters i am confident that we will see a good turnout right mr nitin khare thank you very much indeed for speaking to me on notice tonight uh, taking time out from extremely busy schedule thank you very much